what I'm talking about today is a subject of locking set screws. Now, what's a locking set screw? Well, I've come across them in the past, but they're kind of rare. But you can never assume that there isn't a locking set screw. For example, this front collar here screws on to the barrel that runs through this indexing plate. So if I put my Allen wrench in here and I loosen it and I put my in here and I loosen it it still won't spin off, you know what I mean? I mean it's the kind of situation where you have a pulley on a motor and you you think go in there and you think you've loosened the set screw and the thing doesn't seem to want to loosen up well what you have to assume is that there's a locking set screw now what is that? there are actually locking set screws that are sold I'll show you what a locking set screw looks like see this little tiny set screw it passes right over the Allen wrench. There's no bottom to it. That's a locking, a locking set screw. So, take this out, and then you find out that there's another set screw. one behind the other and of course we have another set screw here so we take that one out it's a locking set screw there's no bottom to it we loosen this one and all of a sudden, we're able to turn this component freely. So the point of this visit video is that you can never assume that because you think you turned and loosened the set screw, that there's not another set screw. Now here's how locking set screws work. The locking set screw goes on, the set screw goes on, you screw it in, okay, all the way in. If it binds up a little bit, you have to kind of back off to make sure that the threads line up. Eventually, you get to tighten the set screw. Now you pull your Allen key out and you turn in the locking set screw. Now if you don't know it's there, you think you loosened the set screw, but you haven't. It causes all kinds of problems. Now it's just not locking set screws. There are people that put one set screw behind the other set screw to lock it in place. So the point of this video is to say that don't ever assume that because you've loosened the set screw that you've actually loosened the set screw that's locking the shaft to whatever it is that the set screw is holding. Take it out completely out
Remove it completely so there's nothing between you and the shaft or you and the keyway. That's the only way to know unless you're the one that put this thing together you won't know if somebody put two set screws in there or used a locking set screw. The rebuild of this is going to be the subject of a series of videos and I think it's a great piece of piece of equipment as I said I've never seen one like this before it's very small very compact uses collets I was able to get it for very inexpensive price came with all the different plates so look forward to that series of videos but for now remember don't assume that because you loosen a set screw that there's not another one in there locking this thing in place make sure you get them all out okay See you on the next video. Thumbs up, baby.